Goon Dog, my name is DMAT and welcome to another installment of Beck Track. First off, sorry, it may be a little windy, it just died down now, but you never know. Anyways, we're back at Tanganyika today and we're at an event called Twilight Tour. So if you saw my last episode, you know that Tanganyika is a seasonal park, meaning that they're open from spring to fall. So Twilight is super important, it is our biggest fundraiser of the season. So in the off season during the winter, we actually don't have any people come and she don't have any people come into the park. So all it goes back into feeding and caring for our animals, caring for our animals. So if you guys come out to the Twilight Tour or if you ever are interested, everything that you do goes right back into caring for these guys. So we greatly appreciate This was originally what I wanted um, Backtrack to be about was showing these big events from the guest perspective, showing what guests can see, what all, all this different kind of stuff. Another thing that Twilight Tour does is it showcases a lot of the businesses from Goddard in Wichita. So we'll see what they got to offer. Another thing that Twilight Tour is also good with, and I mentioned this in my Wild Wednesday video, is that you can come to the park after, you know, the normal hours, and, you know, once it gets cooler, because it is pretty hot right now, once it gets cooler, you can see the animals a little more active, because, you know, it's hot summer, they're not going to want to be out, but when, you know, it's these after hour events, if it's cooler, they'll feel a little more active, so. There's a cheetah cubs over there. Not quite active, but it's kind of cool to see all of them together. I know there's a cheetah breeding complex at Tanganyika, I just don't know where. I don't know if this one counts as animals being more active, considering the keepers are around and the otters are always active. I mean... Hey, it's otter content. Who doesn't love otters? Here's one thing you get to see. It seems that the geese have invaded the Saimang Island. I'm not sure if the Saimangs were on exhibit, they would chase them off. But, I mean, you know, you never see anything besides the animal on the island, so... It's something. <laughs> oh, hi! So something I'm going to try and uh, do during twilight is I'm going to try and talk to as many of the smaller businesses as I can. So they do have like some bigger sponsors like Tropical Snow and Texas Roadhouse, which I love those. But I want to try and also shed some light on some of the smaller brands and smaller family-owned businesses in the Wichita area. Well, we offer uh, you know fast, friendly service. We try to be friendly. You know, we try to go the extra mile when we can. Um, we all, you know, try to be as friendly as possible. And we're not. I mean, I don't feel like we really compete with anybody. We just have our own little, separate little group of people. We have clients, you know, keep right. those ones. And so it's always a good thing. In the next couple of years, we plan on expanding, and then to like Kansas City and Oklahoma City. I'm so it is all edible cookie dough. Um, in the shop we sell it kind of by the scoop, so like ice cream. Um, and then over here we have different flavors. Cater, and then we also have a storefront in Cryptid Square. Really cookie dough. Um, we have about 12 different flavors in our um, shop that we have in the case. That So what you just saw there was a naming vote for the new baby white tiger. I think I'm gonna say that the 
that he's going to be named Hollywood. Just after a guy named Hollywood who had silver hair and blue eyes. If you want to know what the official name is, then I would recommend following Tanganyika. I want to say most likely on Instagram or TikTok is probably where they would post the winning name. One thing I will say about Twilight Tour is that it's more of an adult event because there's stuff like alcohol tasting and uh, silent auctions that just wouldn't appeal more to children. But I still think it's a very good experience as you not only get to see the park in after hours, but you can also get to know the different businesses, like small businesses and franchises around Wichita. really interesting things that you get to do during Twilight is you can go see their cheetah breeding complex. Over there you can see all their adult cheetahs, learn about breeding and the conservation of the species because aside from the cubs that you see on exhibit here, you don't get to see the adults. And unlike the Origins Tour or the animal meet and greets, the cheetah breeding complex is more of an occasional thing as the cheetahs aren't used to many people. It's also cool because you get to see the lions and the Amor leopards, which you'd only get to see during the Origins tour. Right, yeah, so we're a Mexican-based restaurant, a Tex-Mex to be exact. We have a bar, real fun bar. We have two locations, one on Rock and Central and one on the WSU campus. Uh, it's just a place to come bring your family. We have alcohol for the adults, uh, meals for the kids, real fun place. It's not too popular around Kansas. We only have a couple locations in Kansas. Um, it's real popular in Texas, Midwest area. It is expanding, but it is something that we tried to bring to Wichita to, you know, create some good vibes. All right. We do have one coming out west too. Um, New Market Square will be in around October. Next, this fall, we'll have that coming out west. And with that, I think we're done here. As you hear, all the cars are heading out for the evening, but I cannot recommend. But I cannot recommend this 
event enough next year. If you were in the Wichita or Goddard area, this is a must-see event because it's not only fun for older audiences, you get to see more than what you would see on a normal zoo visit, but it also goes to a good cause, which is supporting this wonderful park through the winter. Suffice to say, this has been my biggest video yet, and I hope to only go up from here. Of course, we'll have the normal content after this, but this is what I wanted Beck Truck to be when I first started my YouTube channel. So, but also, I just, I want to thank everyone that was featured in this video. I want to thank the businesses, the employees that I got to interview. I hope to see these businesses soon in the future. If you are in the Wichita Goddard area, I definitely recommend checking out a few of them. I also want to thank Tanganyika, the keeper I interviewed, about why this event is so important. And, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, you know the, you know the spiel, like and subscribe. But share this video out to anyone who loves after zoo events or after hour events, who loves um, small businesses, because of course you saw the ones in, uh, or you saw the different like small franchises, small businesses, so, and who loves zoo and animals in general. I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas, and you have the brush. Auf Zane.